thanks for watching. My name is Craig Michaud and I am the Electrical Instructor. Today I want to talk about push buttons. Once you learn the, and understand normally open and normally closed, things become a lot simpler. Push buttons are the, ba are the most basic thing we can deal with. Here's how we look at them. We have two states. We have normally open, we have normally closed. Normally open on a ladder diagram is drawn like this, but also can be drawn like this. See the symbols vary. ANSI does have a standard and they're both correct. Sometimes what we have here is we have a push button, but here we actually have a contact. Why am I showing you both? Well, I'm showing you both because as long as you understand normally open and normally closed in the de-energized state, you'll be able to put more together. And as long as you can put more and more together, again, all the knowledge that an electrician learns just makes them stronger. Now we come over to here. We have normally open. Normally open, the line is above our connecting nodes, but on a contact, it's just two lines, means it's open. So what happens? When we energize it, it closes. Let me demonstrate how a push button actually works. Okay, right now we have what we call a relay in a box. Keep a lookout for another video on what a relay in the box actually is and does and how it operates. We're talking about push buttons. Push buttons. So our push button has a set of contacts on it. Now this is just one style of contacts and push buttons that we use. I just happen to have these. This is a normally closed. If you look at the, if you go back in the video and see, I, I drew the contacts in red so that you would understand that red is normally closed. This is a normally open. It's drawn in green and I have a green set of contacts. Same style push button. Okay. I also have another push button that's clear. Okay. This style here happens to be clear. Sometimes they come in black. And what happens is you have two sets of contacts. So this is a combination, normally open and normally closed. And when we push the button, they're in it right now. It's in a right now. It's in a normally closed state. But as soon as I push the button, it opens and then we make contact and it closes the other. So let's just deal with these two now. I have 120 volts here and I have my other end of my coil is here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect these two wires to a normally closed switch so you can see what happens. This moment now I've got the I've got the normally closed switch connected to my relay now normally closed when I energize the circuit this red light should come on if it's wired correctly and it did so, I have not done anything to this button as of yet, right? All I did was connect it. When I press the button, 
the light goes out. When I take my finger off the button, the light comes back on. This is a normally closed push button. Okay, so now we have the normally open connected to the relay. Let's add power, see what happens. Okay, unlike the last one, the light didn't come on. If I take and I press my button, my red light should come on. When I take my finger off, it's off. I hope this video helped you to understand how a push button works. One thing that you need to understand is when dealing with motor controls, one wire at a time. And what does that mean? Well, it's very simple. What is really a push button? A push button is nothing more than a single pole switch. As long as you remember it, it's that simple. And as long as you remember that it's a single pole switch, it really isn't that intimidating. If you like the video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and be safe.